All right, uh, this is going to be another word problem involving quadratic equations, kind of similar to one of the others that I've done. So in this problem, suppose we have a gardener and she wants to fence three rectangular plots. She has 120 yards of fencing, and we want the total area of the plots to be 450 yards, and we want to know what the dimensions of the plots could be. So again, I'm going to draw her little, you know, her garden, and we're going to chop it up into three pieces. Um, it didn't say anywhere. Let's assume that they're, they're equal size, um, so three equal size rectangular plots. And I'm just going to label things the same way. So suppose each little plot has a width of x. And the, the, the height or the length could be a little different, so maybe we'll just label those as y's. Okay. If we add up 1x plus 1x plus 1x plus 1x plus 1x plus 1x, that's going to give us 6x plus 1, 2, 3, 4y. That's going to represent the amount of fencing that she's used. And we know that she has 120 yards of fencing total, so that's going to give us one equation to play with. And if you think about the area, well, that's just going to be, you know, kind of the height times the total width. So the height is y, the total width would be 1x plus 1x plus 1x, or 3x. And again, we know that that has to equal 450 total. Okay, so the second equation relates uh, the, the area of the plot's total. So again, what I'm going to do in this one is I'm going to solve one equation. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to divide... both sides by 3x. So on the left side, we'll simply be left with y. Uh, 450 divided by 3 is 150, but we still have the x in the denominator. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to substitute it into the first equation. And that's going to give me an equation involving only x that I'll be able to, to solve. OK, so we said it was 6x. plus 4 times y, but again, y is now has this value 150 over x, and that's going to be equal to 120. Okay, so we have 6x. If we take 4 times 150, that's going to give us 600 divided by x equals 120. And again, to turn this into a quadratic, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by x. So we'll have 6x squared. Uh, when we distribute the x times the 600 over x, the x's will cancel, and we'll have a positive 600. Then we have our 120x left over on the right side. And again, I'm simply going to subtract the 120x so that we have one side equal to 0. And now we have a quadratic that um, hopefully we can solve without too much trouble. Um, one thing I'm going to do, just to make the numbers a little more bearable, I notice that 6 goes into, well, 6, 120, and also 600. So I'm going to really multiply both sides by 1 6, or equivalently divide both sides by 6. The good thing is that on the right, it still simply stays 0. But if I take 1 6 times 6, I'm just going to get x squared, where again, 6 divided by 6 is 1. Uh, negative 120 divided by 6 would be negative 20x. And then 600 divided by 6 is going to be positive 100. Okay, so again, now all we're simply doing is we're looking for two numbers that multiply to positive 100 but add up to negative 20. And I think what we can use here would be x minus 10 and x minus 10. If you multiply those, they definitely add up to 100. If you add them, uh, I don't know, let me, I think maybe I spoke. If you multiply them, they definitely give you positive 100. If you add negative 10 plus negative 10, you get negative 20. So again, we would just simply set each piece equal to 0. Obviously, we don't have to do both. It would be a bit redundant here since it's the same thing. And if we add 10 to both sides, we'll get that x has value 10. Okay, so now we're pretty much there. Um, we know again, so now we know that each one of these little widths is 10 yards. Okay, so that would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 of the 120 yards that she had total to use. 
So that means she has 60 yards left over for kind of the heights, but since there's four of those, each one of those would have to have a height of 15 yards. So each plot, we could say, would be 15 yards by 10 yards.